Dominic says this stretch on Broadway in direct sunlight outside of Miller Park is where he stays for now. I just picked the first stop, spot that wasn't going to make us make me move again because you, you can't, you just, you lose pretty much everything you have as you're moving. He says he's experienced several sweeps in places he lived with shade and is tired of losing the little belongings he owns. They basically just came out and destroyed all of our stuff with the at digger. Uh, immediate need for steps to be taken so that people uh, don't uh, needlessly suffer in these extreme temperatures. Anthony Prince is an attorney with the Sacramento Homeless Union, which is suing the city. He says encampment sweeps force unhoused people like Dominic into unsafe areas in the hot sun. The vast majority were swept from areas where there were uh, tree lined streets, uh, where there was shade and there was uh, some protection from the heat. And they've been pushed into a more, dem uh, a more dangerous circumstance. The union has now filed paperwork asking the city to show why it should not be held in contempt of court. The motion stems from two homeless camp sweeps the city conducted after a federal judge issued a temporary restraining order, putting a halt to city sweeps for 14 days. Yeah, it is very miserable. On the, the asphalt, um, a, a gentleman came by with the, the temperature gun and it's like 147. So, but it's the, that's why we've stayed here though, because we don't have to move right away. Dominic says moving from place to place also makes it difficult to apply for services to get off the streets. You know, certain things you need to try to get the process going, but you can if you're just, you gotta move every single time. For now, he says he and his friends will stay here and hope they get into somewhere more permanent. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. The Homeless Union has also asked that judge to extend the temporary restraining order through the month of September when temperatures can still get into the hundreds. We reached out to the city manager's office about this question of being in contempt of court. The city manager, Tim Swanson, says the city is aware of the motion and they say they will respond accordingly.